In this lecture, guys, I want to show you how the motion blur will work for you. Sometimes it's very beautiful to have a motion blur, and sometimes it's really not beautiful, you don't want it. Now, you can enable the motion blur from the settings tab. The first note is, motion blur will only work on animations that are within Fusion. If you do any animation within the video, you will not see any motion blur. It has to be within Fusion. So let's create first an animation, then we'll come back and we enable the motion blur and see the difference. To create a good animation, I'm gonna go to the transform over here and use lines and create an animation on the Y axis here. So let's say after some time, few frames, not much, maybe a second to the maximum, I'm gonna keyframe the Y axis here. So this is where I want the text. Now I'm gonna come back to the beginning and uh, I take the text to minus 90. So now you have a full rotation here. But I'm gonna change the pivot point. It's already changed, but I'm gonna show you how it happens. So actually it was just like this. Then you click and you drag it to the left. Notice with the pivot Z, you are removing the text from the frame. Here you are, just over here. Yep, it will do. Let's run this animation. I play from in and out. Give it time to render, I can see it very nicely. So you notice there is totally no motion blur here at all. The character I've been seeing quite normally. Let's go back to settings, enable motion blur. Now you have several settings here. The quality here, you can increase it. And notice the quality of the motion, I'm already having problems here. So the quality of the motion blur is better. So the shadows, or what we call samples, are more blurred if you like. I'm gonna keep it to two. Having set the motion blur, let's come back to our clip, press Alt forward slash or Option forward slash to play from in and out. Give it time to render, and you can see it's a beautiful motion blur. Not bad. Actually, this is all about the motion blur. It's very easy to use, but remember, it's only in Fusion. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in the next lecture.